Hello, my name is Duncan Ager, and I am the Health and Safety Officer here at Community Hospice. Today, I will be going over our emergency code system. This system aims to alert staff of potential issues that may arise in their work area. The codes consist of code blue, a medical emergency, code orange, hazardous material spill, code red, a fire, code gray, a violent or combative person without a weapon, code silver, a violent or combative person with a weapon, code yellow, a bomb threat. What the codes mean and how to respond. Code blue, medical emergency. Code blue pertains to a medical emergency involving either an adult or pediatric person that may require basic first aid or CPR. The mode in which the code may be communicated includes but is not limited to verbal communication, and an overhead paging, including the response location. If a code blue is initiated, the, verbal, uh, a pers the person initiating the code should follow up with a phone call to 911 so that the beginning steps of the emergency medical response are followed. Due to the limited availability of clinical staff at any of our locations, we are currently working on purchasing AED kits for CHI, ACHH, the Stockton branch, and logistics. Included in these kits will be all the necessary supplies needed to perform basic adult and pediatric first aid and CPR, such as ambu bags and appropriately sized shock pads. Training on the AEDs will be provided once we have acquired the AED kits. Moving on to the next code, code orange, hazardous material spill. Code orange pertains to a hazardous material spill. The type of chemical and its severity will determine whether the code system will be implemented. The mode in which the code may be communicated includes, but is not limited to, verbal communication, overhead paging, including the spill's location, emails, and text, both standard and tiger. In the event of a hazardous material spill, designated staff will follow up with the local fire department um, hazmat team and quarantine the areas so that everyone can be protected from possible exposure. If you are not one of the designated individuals to handle the hazardous spill, your responsibility is to notify your immediate supervisor or any part of the management team so that the hazardous, mater hazardous material spill disaster plan can be put into effect. The next code is code red, fire. Code red pertains to a fire somewhere in the building. The mode in which this code may be communicated includes, but is not limited to, the initiation of, the lo uh, of that location's fire alarm system and verbal communication. For locations that have a pole alarm system, anyone who sees a fire will find the nearest pole station and activate said station. If you are at a location that does not have a pole station, then verbally alerting staff will suffice. Following the activation of the fire uh, fire alert system, staff will begin exiting the building in a fashionable manner while checking closets and rooms and closing doors behind them to indicate that the location has been cleared. In some locations, such as ACHH, the fire response policy may require you to grab your closest fire extinguisher and report to the location of the fire to either help it be contained or to provide additional time for other staff to assist in protecting our patients. An email alert will be sent out to staff after the safe evacuation of the location has been confirmed. This email, this email will advise staff that, that may be returning to this location to avoid heading there so that proper measures can be taken to expedite the fire's control and mitigate any risk to our employees. The next two codes have been lumped together because the difference between them indicate whether a violent or combative person has a weapon or does not have a weapon. The first code is code gray. That is the violent or combative person without a weapon. Next is code, sil uh, code silver, violent or combative person with a weapon. Um, the mode in which this code may be communicated includes, but is not limited to, verbal communication, overhead paging, including the location of the assailant, emails, and text, both standard and tiger. Staff is not to confront the assailant and to take all necessary steps to avoid them if possible. 
Immediately following the announcement of the code, the alerting party will then follow up with a call to 911. If the individual can be contained outside the building, a lockdown will be initiated to mitigate any further risk to our employees. Emails and text will be sent out to discourage anyone that might be returning to the location where the assailant may be. Once the authorities have confirmed that it is safe and an all clear notice will, I'm sorry, an all clear notice will be sent out to our staff, notifying them that it is safe to return. Last but not least, Code Yellow, a bomb threat. Code Yellow pertains to a bomb threat. Due to the severity of the code, the, in, uh, the initial mode of communication is limited to verbal. After someone has been alerted to the possibility of a bomb, the immediate need for verbal communication is necessary to reduce and mitigate any risk to our staff. Please help spread the word throughout the building and keep in mind that anything like a cell phone signal, um, like a cell phone signal, the use of overhead page and a light switch may be the trigger to the bomb. As long as it has been confirmed that exiting the building is safe, immediately exit the building to a safe distance and wait for further instruction from your supervisor. After exiting the building and reaching a safe distance, a designated person will then use a cell phone to reach out to 911 and or the bomb squad. Following the phone call to the authorities, and as long as everyone has exited the building, a designated person will send out emails and texts to discourage anyone that might be returning to the location where the bomb threat has occurred. Once the authorities have confirmed that it is safe and an all clear notice will be sent out to staff notifying them that it is safe to return. For a more detailed explanation of the steps and actions to take in code yellow, please refer to your location's bomb threat policy. Again, thank you for joining me today while we went over community hospice's um, emergency code system. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me via email.